was a goalie, went down to cover the puck. The guy was coming across, he tried to jump over me and he didn't make it and his skate came down and kicked me in the back of the head. And I think, you know, I was down on the ice for a little bit and, and I think I blacked out for a second and then, uh, you know, I was kind of there and, and, you know, felt all right. And they said, you know, you're all right. And, and you know, kind of the way we do with a knee or, or a hip or whatever it is, you know, you think you can play, yeah. You know, you ask an athlete 90% of the time, they're going to say, yeah. And, and I, I played and my vision started to go. Everything kind of started to go black as the game was going on. And, you know, I missed a couple high glove that I should have caught. And it's because I couldn't see from, from by the time the game was over, from about here over, I couldn't see out of my left eye. Obviously, in, in society and, and in sports, the tougher you are, you know, you looked upon, you know, sometimes it's, it's a tougher decision to, to say, hey, something's not right here. You know, if you get multiple within a certain amount of time and you're not recovered, then, you know, there's nothing tough about, about that. I mean, that's, that's scary stuff. I mean, awareness for the people that are looking out for the, for the long-term health of, of youth, I think those are the most important people in all of it. I'm not that old, but, you know, it was probably, you know, 15 or 16 years ago that that happened. And, and uh, you know, that what we've learned in that time frame is, is you know, I think helped with awareness and, and with treating and dealing with it. So. Hopefully it continues to grow and, and we understand it a lot more.